Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen and all the viewers. Here my presentation entitled The Implementation of Data Depth Variant Factor for Process Control. This is the result of our research, our overseas research collaboration between Bandung Islamic University and University Utara Malaysia with the main principal investigator is Dr. Suwanda and as the member team Abdul Kudus, Dr. Aceng Komarudin Mutakin, and our uh, research partner is Professor Dr. Samsuritawati Sharif. I am very happy to present the result and now we direct to the introduction. Okay, what is data depth? Data depth firstly initiated by Tuki, which introduced the concept of depth of location. And as we know that for the univariate variable, median is the deepest data yeah. We can see here, median here is the deepest data, which is the outer. Uh, the lowest or the highest is the uh, is the outlier, I think. And not be the outlier, but this is the outer. For the bivariate case, yeah. We have two variable, yeah. Let's say x and y. The depth at which the point x is the relative location in the two-dimensional data set, which is defined by the smallest number of data points located on one side on the line passing through x. That's the definition for data depth for bivariate case. And then we can further develop the concept of uh, data depth for multivariate cases. And there are many researchers which studied the type of data depth for multivariate cases. The first one is depth of location, which is uh, proposed by Tuki, and the depth of Mahalanobis. Then the convex hole peeling depth, which is introduced by Barnett, and the depth of Oja, the simplicial depth defined by Liu, and lastly, the depth variant vector, which is introduced by our team. And in this presentation, we discuss on the two uh, comparison between Mahalobis depth and vector variance depth. What is the Mahalobis distance? Uh, Mahalobis depth. Let we have sample of size n, x1, x2, and xn, which is p dimension with distribution f. Then the Mahalobis distance is. Uh, expressed by the equation number one here. Okay, here x bar is sample mean vector, s is sample covariant vector, and a sample covariant matrix, and n is our sample size. The Mahalobis, uh, Mahalanobis depth uh, has some condition. The first one is n should be greater than p. The sample size should be greater than 
the number of uh, covariates, the number of variates, the dimension. The second one is the correlation between variables should be not strong. And the third one is we have to uh, have we have to have positive definite as matrix variant covariant matrix. And our team has introduced the variance factor depth, which is defined by equation number two here. And our proposal has a fewer condition, has weaker condition. The first one is a sample size no need to be greater than dimension and no need to be greater than P. And the second one, uh, we has no problem with strong correlation between variable. And the third one, the variant covariant metric S should be positive definite. There are many implementation of data depth. The first one is to detect the outliers. The second is to control the production process. And for the, uh, for the process capability analysis, and then for cluster analysis, and the last one is for classification analysis. The first one, the implementation of data depth for controlling production process, there are two steps, there are two ways. The first one is for the exploration step. We can use depth, depth plot. Okay. Then the second one for the inferential step, we can use the plotting of depth statistic on the control chart. The first one, depth, depth or DD plot simulation. Here we uh, conduct a simulation study yeah, to construct the DD plot simulation. Uh, the DD plot simulation, uh, the objective of DD plot simulation is to compare the distribution of two population by demonstrating the pattern of DD plot. Here, the step for the construction of DD plot. First, we have to generate the multivariate data of size M for population with app distribution function. And then we calculate the sample mean factor and sample covariant matrix. The second one, we generate the others, yeah, the others uh, data multivariate, multivariate data of size N but here from population with G distribution function. And then we calculate the mean factor and sample covariant matrix. The third step is we combine the sample data from F and, and from, D, from G, yeah? from uh, first step and from the second step. And then we calculate the depth of each observation in three, in step of three, yeah, in the third step, using the average vector and covariant matrix of step one. Yeah. Here we can uh, get the the DF. We can get the DF. DF is the uh, the data depth for F distribution, and then. Number uh, the, the fifth uh, step is calculate the depth of each, each observation in three, yeah, the combination data using the average vector and covariant matrix step two. And from this step, we get uh, the DG. DG is depth for distribution G. Then we plot the pair of the F and DG yeah if the scatter plot forms a straight line through the point the original point 
and through the coordinate 1 comma 1 then we conclude that f and g are the same otherwise f and g are different okay let's say for the scenario number one we have distribution f is multivariate of port uh, variate yeah multivariate with dimension four with a factor of mean mu f and factor of uh, covariant and and metric covariant is sigma f with this element then for g distribution we generate for multivariate of dimension 4 with uh, mean factor is mu g which is equal to mu f like here and a sigma or variant covariant matrix g is equal to f so for the simulation one f and g are the same okay then the second area number two yeah all variances increase to two here this is the difference yeah from the first scenario but the correlation remain the same so the scenario number two uh the second distribution which is a g distribution has a greater than uh, variance uh, element and then the scenario number three uh, f is from multivariate with dimension four like before and g uh, has a sip in first period uh, mean factor first element of uh, mean factor but the variant covariant matrix still the same the simulation number four which is the scenario number four the mean factor and covariant matrix was changed was changed g from multivariate uh, distribution with dimension 4 with mu g and sigma g like here yeah like here uh, and for our simulation we use m is equal to 1000 and also n is equal 1000 okay this is the result of our simulation for simulation number one we can compare between Mahalanobis depth the lab uh, picture with uh, variant spector depth the right picture as we know that the first simulation uh, both distribution f and g are identical yeah we can see here that the right plot is better than left plot okay this is the the, the scatter is close to the uh, line straight line between original point and 1.1 here okay then the scenario number two we can see here okay we can see here as we know that the scenario number two, scenario number two, all variances increase to two. So the G distribution has more uh, variance, has more variance. And we can see here that it saw by the picture uh, on the right side, yeah, on the right side, which is uh, which is from which is from factor variance depth. So this is better. This is better than Mahalanobis uh, depth. Okay, then number three. Number three is simulation with outlier for first 
variat here. So we can see here, we can see here the difference between Mahalanobis depth and uh, factor varian depths is shown by figure 3 here. Yeah? F and G are different in the mean factor. Then, then this is, I think, the simulation number 4. This is the simulation number 4. Okay, we can see here F and G are different in mean factor. Still, still, the data, uh, the the factor variance depth is better than Mahalanobis depth. Okay. The, the next implementation of the depth is to construct the Q control chart. So we construct the uh, control chart based on factor variance. This is the step to construct the Q control chart. The first one we has historical sample of size M, let's say Y1, Y2, and YM, which is uh, in the state of in control uh, process. And then we take a sample of size N for K period. Uh, usually N is equal to 3, 4, or 5. Let's the distribution of the process is G. Okay. Then we calculate the depth of historical data with formula number two. Okay. And we calculate the depth of process. And then we calculate the relative frequency of historical data whose depth is smaller than the depth of each process. Then we calculate the mean of value for each the process sample. And then we plot the Q value on the control chart with center line and lower control limit. We said the process is out of control if the value of Q less than LCL, lower central limit. Yeah. Okay, this is the application of Q chart in the process production of seal. The data is from Hazlui 2010. In this sample, the historical data of size M equal to 40 and process data has K 10 period, each which measure with N four times. And the multivariate is four variate with dimension four that is the ceiling strength, X1, the bottom, the right, and the left, X4. And from the data, we calculate the mean factor and the variant covariant metric. For N equal to 4 and alpha equal to 0 0.00273, this is uh, in line with three sigma control chart. Then the control limit is obtained equal to control limit is equal to 0 0.5 and lower lower uh, central limit is equal to 0 0.1265. Okay? And here the chart, the Q chart for the data, we can see here that uh, individual number three is signal to be outlier, to be out of control. And also the subject number seven and subject number, number nine. Because why? Because here the, uh, here uh, lower than lower central limit. Okay. This is the Q control chart factor variance for the process seal. <coughs> okay. To see the variable that goes out of control, we can see the box plot for each of the following variable. Okay. We can see here. This is the box plot of X1. This is the box plot of X2. And then the box plot of X3 and X4. 
we can see here inferior three inferior three here this is period three for x1 period three for x2 period three for x3 and period three for x4 the variable x1 x2 and x3 appear to be diffuse we can see here yeah and then for the period of seven here period of seven for x1 period seven of x2 and then period seven of x3 and period seven of x4 we can see x3 is very diffuse here x3 okay here this is very very uh what we call very very scattered because uh, more 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 variation here for x3 in period uh, the, in the seven period and then in the ninth period okay we can see here in the ninth period this is has appearances but here ah uh, here is more variation than x1 okay and also here is smaller variance so so x3 or in the, here here x3 x3 but i think x2 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 is more variation yeah not not only x3 for period number nine x2 also okay so the conclusion the variant factor data depth is an alternative to mahalanomist data depth and we saw here that the factor variant data depth is uh, better is better uh, which is so by our simulation studies and then the advantage of factor variant does not depend on the sample size this is the the what we call the advantage of our method okay and then the distribution of data depth does not depend on the distribution of data so our the our our method is distrib distribution pre method no need assumption of distribution of data then we has construct the q control chart by using vector variance depth and then we have apply our q control chart vector variance in the sealing process and so a signal that process is being interrupted the process is out of control so thank you for the reviewers for the funder of this research which is uh, LPPM University Islam Bandung and our partner research partner from UUM to make it uh, to make it real okay okay thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh